Hey, I'm Adam, and welcome to the Kiki TV. Uh, so, this week is YouTuber week, and because I can't uh, decide on uh, one uh, favorite YouTuber to talk about, I'm decided to do something different, and I'm going to list off some uh, YouTube channels that I can that are underrated because I think they should get some more recognition. I mean, some of them do have a good amount of subscribers, but still not as much to the likes of Thomas Sanders or uh, Markiplier or anything like that. So, and this is, isn't in any order or anything. It's just, uh, it's just a random list. No, no like one to 10 thing or whatever. So let's just get started. Um, uh, first one, uh, Band Geek eight four oh, <laughs> Band Geek eight four oh eight. Now he is a he is a YouTuber I really like. He's uh, mostly known for uh, his books versus movies reviews, but he also like well he also does uh, some TV reviews. He done regular movie reviews. He's done musical reviews or theater reviews and uh, book reviews. It, he, he does a lot. And then on top of that, he has a story going in with his channel also. Um, the big thing is that he has uh, he has all these different personas of his that uh, will review all that will review different things. So he has a movie reviewing persona, he has a book reviewing persona, a theater reviewing persona, uh, and then there's also just different personas that'll help out. <laughs> like he's got an editing persona. <laughs> he's got an evil twin. <laughs> and just a lot, like it's a very... It's a very kind of complicated story, and then it's also a bit meta at some points. So, <laughs> but it, it's very interesting. You just like to get like maybe the full story. You you would have to watch all his videos, and then there's also the fact that it'll have um <laughs> sort of a lot of well not a lot but like some unlisted videos linked in his videos also. <laughs> so there's that. It's a very complicated thought out story. <laughs> uh, no small parts. Uh, now this channel is interesting. It's mainly uh, a guy called Brandon Hardesty, and he just makes videos talking about uh, like the type of actors that, what type of actors or actresses that you might recognize, but you don't always really know the names of. You know those type of actors, or like what might be called character actors and just goes through their uh, history and their filmography and everything and it's very interesting he's talked about people like Warwick Davis and um, uh, Keith David uh, Vincent Schiavelli I think that's his name um, some of you might know him as that subway ghost from the movie Ghost Anyway, yeah, he's a very, it's a very interesting channel. You should check it out. Um, next, Musical Theater Mash. Now, from you can guess from the name that it's a musical theater related channel. And what he does mainly, he makes a lot of different videos related to musical theater, obviously. Like he's done videos about him reacting to movie musicals. He's done a lot of short videos, uh, like musicals of the week type videos, and he just talks about a certain musical. And he also has a podcast that he does with this guy named Jimmy. Uh, and it's called <laughs> Jim and Tomic's Musical Theater Happy Hour. You should check it out. <laughs> Uh, Blinky 500, uh, 
this channel is uh, just made up of tons of short films that these guys make. Well, I think like it's maybe mainly one guy, but like a lot of people work on it. Uh, and it's also very good quality films. Uh, they do original stuff, but they also do a lot of uh, fan films or, you know, films based off of existing things. Like there's a series of Nightmare on Elm Street related films, mainly about Freddy Krueger. They uh, have Batman related films. Uh, one that I recommend is uh, the Mr. J series. It's really good, and it's all about the uh, Heath Ledger version of the Joker. Uh, and they also have a Deadpool web series. It's just three episodes, but it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, you should check them out. Uh, the Other Socio. Now, this is another review channel, but it's interesting because unlike some other review uh, like some other reviewers, he doesn't just, you know, review a movie and talk about what's good and bad about it. He uh, talks about it from a sociological uh, perspective, you know, going like a bit deeper into some themes or other stuff about the movies. But he also has, uh, he also has a, uh, another personality uh, that goes into the psychological psychological perspective of movies. So that's interesting. <laughs> and he's really underrated. You should check him out. He's good. Um, oh, another, another review. Another reviewing channel. The Count Jacula Show. He mainly reviews horror movies. And... Uh, <laughs> And he also has, like, a sort of gimmick thing where he's he's uh, supposed to be, like, a... This, this is his actual intro. He's like, I'm Count Dracula from the planet Dracula. <laughs> and he's supposed to be, like, a vampire and everything. And he has good production value. <laughs> uh, he's very funny. He's the type of uh, person who's not afraid to, like, push the envelope with certain jokes and everything. <laughs> So, some people like if you're, if you can get easily offended, maybe don't watch him. But if you like, you're okay with like a lot of with certain crude jokes or you know very of, or offensive humor. Uh, <laughs> you should check him out. He does a, a lot of good videos. Um, you probably heard of this guy. Maybe you've seen some of his videos. Uh, uh, Monkey and Apple. He does a lot of really good sketch videos. Uh, one of his most like well-known ones. It was like very was early on. Uh, the one uh, the Dark Knight interrogation scene spoof. You probably have seen it. The one where uh, the Joker can't understand what Batman is saying, and Batman just keeps punching him in the face. <laughs> but he he does a lot of other good ones too. You. <laughs> Really funny, you should just check him out. <laughs> and, um... Uh, oh, the Joker blogs. This is one... <laughs> this is such a good series. This is uh, based around uh, the Dark Knight version of the Joker and those events. Um, and it is supposed to be like... Well, it starts out as... Uh, video therapy sessions of uh, the Joker. Uh, it's Dr. Harleen Quinzel, a.k.a. Harley Quinn, uh, doing therapy sessions with the Joker and then just see what transpires because of that. It's it's very interesting. It's, it started out as uh, sort of video blog type series, hence the name of Joker Blogs. Now, in its second season, it's a uh, bigger budget, and it is like a real series now. It's really awesome. The, the, the writing, the acting, the directing, everything is just really great. And it seems like a, a lot of people uh, have 
noticed it because it has a good amount of subscribers, but still, like, not a lot of people seem to know about it. Like, if I ever ask anyone about it, they'll be like, what? <laughs> you, It's really good. You should check it out. And uh, it's been a while since they uploaded the last video, so, like, you can have time to catch up. <laughs> and, uh, God, there are so many other ones I can think of, but I think I'll just leave it at that to keep it pretty short. <laughs> anyway, so that's the, so yeah, that was the video. I, I'm gonna make sure to link all their channels in the description. Uh, and hopefully you decide to check them out, and if you like it, great. Uh, so, yeah, if you like this video, please leave a like. If you would like to see more from this channel, me or any of the other people on this channel, please subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.